competitive youth sports has become a seven billion dollar industry. Hundreds of dollars are spent a month when it comes to expenses and now One Valley City is looking to bank on this investment. CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier has more. My brother started playing and I like to do a lot of stuff he did. For as long as she can remember, softball has been a way of life for Megan Seguri. So much so, she's been on youth softball teams not associated with her school. Every team you're on is like a family and the girls you meet are from all over the valley. So when you're playing, you grow up with them. I know girls from Brownsville. I know girls from Georgia, Florida that I keep in touch with because of softball. Megan is just one of the estimated 21 million young athletes across the country between the ages of 5 and 18 involved in non-school youth sports. You make great friends. You have teens, she has teammates, but we also have the parents that we get really close to. You guys do everything together. Um, you get to, I've learned more about Texas by, by driving around to, to softball than I would have if, if we just lived here without. San Juan resident Rafael Gonzalez and his family have been bonding through soccer for over a decade. We have the oldest that travels to the state of San Antonio, and then we have the middle child that plays in Brownsville, and then we have the smallest that plays here in McAllen. So we kind of have to split up and get the grandparents involved. According to U.S. Youth Soccer, in 1995, there were more than 2.3 million players participating in the sport. That number jumped up to more than 3 million in 2012. From their youngest to their oldest, soccer has always been their go-to sport. Traveling has truly made it a family affair. As the participation numbers continue to grow, so do expenses. No matter how cheap you want to go, it's a $500 deal. Easy. So if you put that times, you know, two, three times out of the month, you know, you're talking about $1,500, $2,000 a month. According to the Sports Facilities Advisory, youth sports has become a $7 billion industry, which is big considering youth sports tourism wasn't much of a thought several years ago. It was tough at first because, uh, you know, with our oldest, we didn't know what to expect. But as we, you know, as it moved along, uh, it's become a way of life. Going up to Nationals, we had to spend a week in College Station, another week in San Antonio, and another week in Oklahoma, and our whole family was there with us. Aside from travel expenses, parents pay for extra training outside of team practices. For athletes to reach their full potential, some seek outside training. Jamar Taylor has succeeded at the college and NFL level, having played at Texas A&M and the New York Giants. He now owns and operates Taylor Performance in McAllen. He trains young athletes looking to take their talents to the next level. Well, I've had kids go to Austin, uh, like a San Antonio, Dallas, uh, just because there's, there's more kids and a better opportunity to be seen by, by scouts. He says the difference between travel sports and recreational is it separates an athlete when it comes to their skill set and determination. You get an opportunity to uh, see the competition out there uh, and more, more so these kids come back and they're very humbled. The parents are humbled. They know they've got a lot of work to do. The city of McAllen has caught on to this rapid growth and is working to bring tournaments closer to home. Right now they're working on completing a six field complex for girls fast pitch worth around four million dollars. This is something that uh, we want to provide the families from McAllen, the families from the Valley. During the fiscal year of 2015 to 2016, sports tourism had an estimated impact of more than six million dollars to the local economy. With those numbers, the city has made it a priority to try and find ways to entice bigger organizations to host tournaments here. While some of the projects may not be done by the time Megan and Sarah complete high school, they say it's great opportunities for those younger athletes that follow right behind them. I think having coaches come down here since our softball level, you don't really get many coaches come watching the girls down here, but I definitely think the Valley has one of the highest levels of softball in Texas. I think that'd be pretty cool if there's a lot of tournaments and more games here and actually calling them home games versus going to Corpus for our home games. The talent here is just like any other part of the world. I think we have a lot of talent here in the Valley. In Hidalgo County, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The city of McAllen and the families featured in this piece say aside from cost and even the concern for safety, they do not believe that the youth sports phenomenon will go away anytime soon.